ശ്രീനിവാസ റാമാനുജൻ എഫ് ആർ എസ് എ ബ്രീഫ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് മാത്തമാറ്റിഷ്യൻ റാമാനുജൻ ബോൺ ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡ് ഡിസംബർ എയ്റ്റീൻ എയ്റ്റി സെവൻ ഇൻ ഈ റോഡ് തമിഴ്നാട് ഡൈഡ് ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി സിക്സ് ഏപ്രിൽ നയൻറ്റീൻ ട്വൻറ്റി അറ്റ് ദ ഏജ് ഓഫ് പുവർ ഏജ് ഓഫ് തേർട്ടി ടു ഇൻ ചെന്നൈ ഈസ് റെസിഡൻസ് വാസ് കുംഭകോണം ടാങ്കിയർ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് തമിഴ്നാട് ഇന്ത്യ and he is basically an indian and fields of mathematics alma mater government halls college kumbakonam and pachepas college chennai academic advisors g s hardy and i little hoods and he is very known for ramanujan constants and mock theta functions Ramanujan conjectures, Ramanujan prime, Ramanujan theta function, Ramanujan sum, Ramanujan identities, Ramanujan's master theorem. Early education and personal life of the great Ramanujan. His father, Sri K. Srinivasa Yengar, a clerk in a sari shop and hailed from the district of Tanjavur. His mother, Komala Tamal, was a housewife and sang at a local temple. They lived in Sarangamani, Sanadhi Street, Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu. In December 1889, Ramanujan had smallpox and recovered. Early education and personal life. He moved with his mother to his parents' house in Kanjibram, near Chennai. From his mother, he learned about tradition. he learned to sing religious songs to attend to pujas at the temple and particular eating habits all of which are part of brahmin culture his early education personal life continues just before the age of 10 in november 1897 he passed his primary exams in english tamil geography and arithmetic with his scores he stood first in the district that year ramanujan entered town higher secondary school kumbakonam where he encountered a formal mathematics for the first time by age 11 he had exhausted the mathematical knowledge of two college students who were lodgers at his home he was later lent a book on advanced trigonometry written by s l loni he completed mastered he completely mastered this book by the age of 13 and discovered sophisticated theorems on his own by 14 he was receiving merit certificates and academic awards which continued throughout his school career he completed mathematical exams in all the allotted time and showed a familiarity with geometry and infinite series ramanujan was shown how to solve cubic equations in 1902 and went on to find his own method in 1903 he was 16 ramanujan studied the book by g s car on uh, for uh, synopsis of elementary results in pure and applied mathematics a collection of 5000 theorems the book is generally acknowledged as a key element in awakening the genius of ramanujan the next year he had implemented impli- independently developed and investigated the bernoulli numbers and had calculated euler's constant up to 15 decimal places when he graduated from town i higher secondary school in 1904 ramanujan was awarded the k ranganatha rao prize for mathematics as an outstanding scholar who deserve scores higher than the maximum possible marks he received a scholarship to study the government college arts college in kumbakonam town i tamil nadu however ramanujan could not uh, focus on any other subjects and failed most of them losing his scholarship in the process he later 
enrolled at Pachiapas College in Madras, he again excelled in mathematics but performed poor in other subjects. Ramanujan failed in his fine arts degree exam in December 1906 and again a year later. Without a degree, he left college and continued to pursue independent research in mathematics. At this point in his life, he lived in extreme poverty and was suffering from <coughs> starvation. Adulthood in India On 14th July 1909, Ramanujan was married to a nine-year-old bride, Johnny Gamal, 21st March 1899 to 13th April 1994. After the marriage, Ramanujan developed a hydrocell problems. His family did not have the money for the operation, but in January 1910, a doctor volunteered to do the surgery for free. After his surgery, Ramanujan searched for a job. He stayed at friends' houses while he went door to door around the city of Chennai looking for a clerical position. To make some money, he turned to some students, he tutored some students at Presidency College who were preparing for their exam. Ramanujan met Deputy Collector V. Ramasamy Iyer, who had recently founded the Indian Mathematical Society. Ramanujan wishing for a job at the Revenue Department where Ramasamy Iyer worked, showed him his mathematical notebooks. As Ramasamy Iyer later recalled, had no mind to smooth his genius, but an appointment in the lowest level as clerk in the revenue department. Ramasamy Iyer sent Ramanujan with letters of introduction to his mathematician friends in Madras. Some of these friends looked at his work and gave him letters of introduction to R. Ramachandra Rao, the district collector at Nellur and the secretary of the Indian Mathematical Society. Ramachandra Rao was impressed by Ramanujan's research but doubted that it was actually his own work. Ramanujan's friend C. V. Rajagopalachari persisted with Ramachandra Rao and tried to clear any doubts over Ramanujan's academic integrity. Rao listened to Ramanujan discuss elliptic integrals, hypergeometric series and his theory of divergence series in which Rao believed Ramanujan's mathematical brilliance. When Rao asked what he wanted, Ramanujan replied that he needed some work and financial support. He continued his mathematical research with Rao's financial aid, taking care of his daily needs. Ramanujan, with his help of Ramaswamy Iyer, had his work published in the Journal of Indian Mathematical Society. One of the first problems he posted in the journal was square root of 1 plus 2 square root of 1 plus 3 square root of 1 plus and so on and so forth. He waited for a solution to be offered in three issues over six months but failed to receive anything. At the end, Ramanujan supplied the solution to the problem himself. He formulated an equation that could be used to solve the infinitely nested ra rational problems. Using this equation, the answer to the question posted in the journal was simply three. Ramanujan wrote his first formal paper for the Journal of Properties of Bernoulli's Numbers. One property he discovered was that the denominators of the fractions of Bernoulli numbers were always divisible by six. Ramanujan's methods were so novel and his presentation so lacking in clearance and uh, precision that the ordinary mathematical readers cannot follow you. Ramanujan later wrote another paper and also continued to provide problems in the journal. In early 1912, he got a temporary job in Madras Accountant General's office. 
with a salary of rupees 20 per month. Towards the end of that assignment, he applied for a position under the chief accountant of the Madras Port Trust. There, weeks after, he joined as a class 3 and class 4 accounting clerk, making 30 rupees per month. At his office, Ramanujan easily and quickly completed the work he was given and he spent his spare time doing only mathematical research. Ramas, Ramanujan's boss, Sir Francis Spring, and S. Narayan Ayer, a colleague who was also treasurer of the Indian Mathematical Society, encouraged Ramanujan in his mathematical work. Contacting English mathematicians, on the spring of 1913, Narayan Nair, Ramachandra Rao and E.V. Middle Moss tried to present Ramanujan's work to British mathematicians. One mathematician, M.J. Hill of University College London, commented that although Ramanujan had a taste for mathematics and some ability, he lacked the educational background and foundation needed to be accepted by the mathematicians. On 16 January 1930, Ramanujan wrote to G.H. Hardy, coming from an unknown mathematician, the nine pages of mathematics made Hardy initially view Ramanujan's manuscripts as a possible fraud. Hardy recognized some of Ramanujan's formulae, but others seemed scarcely possible to believe. Hardy was also impressed by some of Ramanujan's other work relating to infinite series. The second one was new to Hardy and was derived from a classroom of functions, class of functions called hypergeometric series, which had first been researched by Euler and called F. Gauss. After he saw Ramanjan's theorems on continued fractions, on the last page of the manuscripts, Hardy commented that the theorems uh, defeated me completely. I had never seen anything like them before. He figured that Ramanujan's theorems must be true. Hardy asked colleague Littlewood to take a look at the papers. Littlewood was amazed by the mathematical genius of Ramanujan. On 8th February 1930, Hardy wrote a letter to Ramanujan expressing his interest for his work. Before his letter arrived in Madras, during the third week of February, R.D. contacted the Indian office to plan for Ramanujan's trip to Cambridge. Ramanujan refused to go to a foreign land. Meanwhile, Ramanujan sent a letter packed with theorems to R.D., writing, I have found a friend in you who views my labor sympathetically. R.D.'s correspondence with Ramanujan Sure, after Ramanujan refused to come to England, apparently Ramanujan's mother had a vivid dream in which the family goddess Namagri commented her to stand no longer between her son and the fulfillment of his life's purpose. Ramanujan arrived in London on 14th April. After six weeks, Ramanujan took up residence and just a five minutes walk from Hardy's room. Already had already received 120 theorems from Ramanujan in the first two letters and there were many more results and theorems to be found in the notebooks. Ramanujan left a deep impression of Hardy was said can compare him only with Euler or Jacobi. Ramanujan spent nearly five years in Cambridge collaborating with Hardy and Littlewood and published a part of his findings there. Hardy and Ramanujan had highly Contrasting personalities, their collaboration was a class of different culture, beliefs and working styles. While in England, Hardy tried his best to fill the gap in Ramanujan's education without interrupting his spell of inspiration. Ramanujan was awarded BA degree by research and later renamed PhD in March 1916 for his work in highly composite numbers the first part of which was published as a paper in the Proceedings of the London Mathematical Society. The paper was over 50 pages of the different properties of such numbers proven. Hardy remarked that 
this was one of the most unusual papers seen in mathematical research at the time on 6 december 1917 he was elected to london mathematical society he became a fellow of the royal society in 1918 becoming the second indian to be so and he was one of the youngest fellows in the history of the royal society he was elected for his investigations in elliptic functions the theory of numbers on 13 october 1918 he became the first indian to be elected fellow of a trinity college cambridge illness and return to india unfortunately ramanujan health problems came living in a country far away from home deeply involved with his mathematics ramanujan health worsened in england by stress and by the scarcity of the vegetarian food due to the first world war he was suffering from tuberculosis and a severe vitamin deficiency ramanujan returned to kumbakonam madras presidency in 1919 and died thereafter at the age of 32 his widow s yes, jani gammal lived in chennai formerly madras until death 1994 so this is the story of the great mathematician indian mathematician the genius ramanujan we should pray for his soul to rest in peace and uh, let us worship as uh, that we are all fortunate to live in india where the great ramanujan was born thank you bye